Oke okay guys, lanjut ke game kedua ya. Antara Big Getron Beta melawan Homeboys. Okay, ini Udil Bus Zuxin guys ya. Aimel pakai Nolan, Linsnya pakai Roger. Oke lah, kita lihat aja guys. Match point buat Homeboys. Menang lagi OTW Playoff guys ya. Udil mal. Dua kali guys, malnya first block guys. Boleh. Angkat lagi. Flicker, guys ya. Oh, But the homeboys mid lane duo actually looking really, really strong. Yeah, and not only that, just look at their XP laner as well. A glue who's able to get inside of the jungle as well during his free time, that is, and opening up that extra space for Ima to farm. And that's exactly what they did. The bottom jungle has been cleared out. Yeah, you can farm all you want, but what's the what's the power of the Nolan coming into this game? Who can he pick off? He's an assassin anyway. Okay, so picking off Valentina, I would say that is the first target there. If not the Beatrix, because the Beatrix can also keep a good distance. So it's either one of those. But if you give, if given a choice, I would say take out the utility hero first. There's a lot of things we want to talk about right here. This is the first time in SPS we've seen the Beatrix and the Harith lane to lane matchup. Harith looks like he's getting a better time. But let's talk a little bit more about the Glue and the Paquito lane to lane matchup mm. on the EXP side, especially since the first turtle is popping up in five seconds. Yeah, and uh, the glue is very, very sustainable on his own, right? So that is the whole point for Kim yeah, to be nah. there, just to try to attract the members of Big Drum Beta towards him and opening up the space. Soal DPS si Beta menang, guys. Tapi kalau soal jarak si Harit lah ya, mantap. Kind of pull off a split push. If not, uh, if he, at some point, if he cannot find a split push, okay, he tries to go for the backline instead. And the backline that he might want to target is going to be targets like Ude, but. Being a Zerushi, it's not going to be easy to just try to chase him down. Actually, Zerushi and Marcy still not level 4. I don't think they want to contest for this one. It looks like a free and easy turtle for the side mm. of homeboys. They snap pick that up. Email. And Bigatron beta back on the defense. I don't know what went wrong right here. Down the EXP side, still level 3, even after the wave clear. Yeah, and I guess that is also because of some help from Emo at the bottom. But speaking about help in the mid... Oh, mid side is forced to use the ulti. To get out of the way, yet three in a spot of bother right there. Ooh, he was out, but stuck under yeah, the turn. Yet three, yet three slain. But it's a nice little trade sama -sama down si, on Marzi as well. Amal trying his best. Here comes Maul for the Slim defense. Mati, si. That's the jungle. Mm. The Maul Maul duo coming to shut down the EXP side. That's a huge lead over the side of Homeboys. 2K gold lead. Now, this is a three-minute mark. Homeboys has this lead. Start the aggression going. Udil already body blocking and trying to source for a lot of information down on Bigger from Beta's jungles. And that's a good thing about having a Nolan, right? Like, your mobility is definitely up oh. there. So that's how we can see the move. Hold that thought. Nets. Oh, actually, Noxu misses that. But oh, pops that bigger Nets. Ooh, Nets. Knocks up, stunned up. But the oh, final slash out of nowhere. Mao. Actually makes the play. Amal has got his eyes on pin. Pin nice goes down as well as Naksu. <laughs> That's a double for Amal in the early side. Udil just being such an annoyance down at the purple side. Here comes Mal, but Marzi rotating up, just trying to defend this. He's popping a retribution. No fight's gonna happen, but homeboy showing so much dominance in game number two. This is what you call you got to bait it, my friend. The Minoan <laughs> Fury Beta. Jabeda. Jabeda. I get it. Jabeda. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And uh, the moment he went in with the Minoan Fury, then uh, that's it. He has no escape mechanism. The other members of Homeboys came and oh, let's see if he can get more. Marzi Marzi will mm. go down right here. I saw Amal with a rotation from the top side to the bottom yeah. and just a snap. I don't know what car he's driving, but he's moving fast this time around. <laughs> oh, man. I would like to preview that car. Yeah. But that is what the, the power of uh, uh, Nolan is, right? Like, you can move fast across the map. And he will be able to join his other teammates. I 
don't know if Big Strong Beta wants to contest it. Noxie has his ultimate, so just waiting for the right time. No flicker right here. Minimum Fury he lays down, two. but will not be able to complete that one. Mars in the midst of battle. Won't be able to hit anything. Everyone at home was there still wide and healthy. Mal. Lynch will go down here, get pulled up by the side of <laughs> Lynch tumbang, they take down Turtle, juga, they take set. down two, make, make that three members of the side of Big Strong Beta, and they're showing yeah. so much dominance. Oh man, your 5k gold ahead if you're side of homeboys. The Big Strong Beta really needs to step back and try to get that defense down. You don't want to lose too much economy, too much resources. I mean, it's not only about the gold difference right during that total matchup. It is also about the level difference. Aimal is already at level 10. Oh. Whereas for everyone from Bigger Trombeta, the, the highest is Lynch with level 8. So the moment you show yourself, you'll be <laughs> taken out. So it's not a worthwhile fight. Buset. thought it's a 3v2 situation. Actually, Lynch <laughs> got that purple buff, so he's actually safe. Oh. Okay, you don't want to lose too much resources mm. if you're biggest Trombeta at this point. But it's 4 0 and 2 Amal. That's a Nolan with so much kills right from the early game. Big Trombeta, they need a little bit of time for Paquito to get his core items. No core items yet for this Paquito. He's actually so far behind this glue. He's died twice. Marzi needs to be able to find that stride, find the momentum to be able to come back into this game. <laughs> Take a little itemizations. What else can you tell us? Yeah, and now that year three he already has the dominance eyes, this gives him the license to stay stay behind the bottom turret. And with that, it makes it easy for him to take down the bottom turret as well. And with that dominant eyes, he can be the forefronter for homeboys to soak up the damage. And he'll be even happier if they were to target him. I think that happened before, right? I think Geek Fam was hyper-focusing down on Marzi, knowing that he's the sort of like a weak link, so to speak. And homeboys, they're doubling down just the same. Lynch walks a little bit too far away from the tri-bush, but AMR pops in the retribution. He wants to go for it, but uses the fracture to just get out of the way. Homeboys, <laughs> they know that the turtle's coming up. They're playing a 4-1 composition. They're trying to split the waves, and that's the power of that glue as well. You might think that Pac-Man was the one that's actually oh, trying to go for it, but Marzi getting caught in the middle, caught by Two, taking a lot of damage, he will go down. And that's a turtle over the side of homeboys. They might want to wait this out until that Lord comes out. I see what Ness <laughs> did there with the Salmon Force. He put the Salmon Force behind him, so Marzi cannot retreat back to the uh, safer side. That oh. is like, you know, think two steps ahead. Yeah, oh, man. Man, yeah, the Beta guess, yeah. playing checkers while homeboys <laughs> playing chess. And speaking of Naksu. Naksu again getting called out. Pull oh, back. Oh, nah. in a run. Udil. Oh, nah, Udil. Mati, Udil. Guess, yeah. from this Jusin. <laughs> actually shuts him down once again. 0-4 oh, and 0 oh, for Naksu. There's no setups that he can take. Dude, the goal difference is bigger than the timer right now. Yeah. Yeah, 8k, 9k versus 7 minutes, 8 Ooh. minutes in the timer. I mean, this homeboys just pulling out the home run. <laughs> actually, the Bennett's Rage as well, doing nothing over the side of homeboys. They're actually, it's actually supposed to deal so much more damage. Oh, missing the orange buff. No, oh, I spoke a little bit too soon. Lynch got that, but oh, Mal gets caught in by the final slash. Mal, Lynch, Ooh, right this, yeah. this might be their shot as the Manoa Fury. The up right now, <laughs> yet three, and a spot of bother, he jumps right back in. It's 4v1, make that it's three. three. Two. Mm, oh, mati Udil, juga, bro. he makes a play. He pulls back two, <laughs> and they take down one more. Man, the only two kills so far that Big Trombeta got is through Lynch. This guy is just time and time again putting in his resume and telling his boss that, you know, he got to play. Yeah, it's a little bit of a risky situation right now. Lord getting spawned up. Big Trombeta, 9k gold behind Homeboys. That's, oh, man, I don't know how many core items that is, but Homeboys just winning in every single aspect. You've got the lane control. You've got the map control. You've got so much turrets. Big Trombeta hasn't even touched any one of Homeboys' T1s. Well, do you think that Beta should contest for this Lord? Ah, uh, definitely not. I mean, to answer the question of the items, they only completed one item in general for Bigatron Beta, so they're way, way behind homeboys now. Yeah, I, I'm always underestimating the damage that Jusin brings, but look at Udil, 27,000 damage, 9-minute mark, Lord spawning up in 10 seconds. How do you think Beta is going to play this? Oh, man, I, they need to farm. They need the space to farm, but the... The thing is that Hobo is not giving them that space, but 
Because don't better all the I guess the winning condition right now is just Lord yang pertama guys ya. The pressure from homeboys and hopefully they'll be able to catch up on the leveling and also the uh, net worth difference because the level even <laughs> is so different right now. Ama is already maximum level 15. Homeboys got Lord slain. Beta is actually very very desperate. All throughout that Lord fight they're waiting up on that top side because they know that their wave is actually pushing into the T1. But homeboys is like, nah, I don't really care about this. Let's take that Lord. I can clear out that wave later. Now Lord marching down that top side. Homeboys really amping up that tempo. Big Trump Beta is really scrambling for any single scraps that they can take. <laughs> They're so far behind. That's 10k gold lead. And it's extending even more with the Lord advantage for Homeboys. Oh man. It's looking bad now for Victor Beta. They will be able to clear up the top lane, but in the middle, Ooh. it's probably going to be hard for them. Not at home, yeah. boys, who want to take something back. The Udio is like using that pepper spray. So the Lancer is like a pepper spray. Udio <laughs> comes in using the Lancer, and everyone is like, no, no, Shit. let's get the My heck eyes. out of there. <laughs> Okay. Oh, man. Now that the Lord is distracting uh, Bigatron Beta, look at the space given to homeboys now. But, oh! Actually, Marzi is down that bottom side, but <laughs> he can do only mm. so much. There's not a yeah. lot of minions pushing down. He can't take that turret. So, homeboys going to take what they can, try to pop all these explosions down on the T3s. <laughs> but Beta is just desperate. They are panicking. There's 12k gold advantage. And dua banding and dua belas like menit sepuluh, guys. Ya. Terlalu ngeri, guys. They're scrambling around like headless chickens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, and even if we look at like the uh, level difference right now that's shown on screen, Amal level 15, and he well, was at level 15 for the longest time. The closest one is Lich, and then you got pinned at level 10. Yeah, I remember that Amal actually got level 15 on the ninth minute mark. That is how uh -huh. far that he's been staying ahead of Big Trump Beta. He's just farming like crazy right now. I will be excited to see the itemizations that he brings to the table because that gold lead will translate to a lot more. Oh, as I say it, we bring Satu it up. Lord kedua ya guys ya. Mungkin I mean, Lord yang okay. kedua sih guys. I'm just gonna put out the average right now, right? Bigatron Beta, <laughs> they have at least completed maybe about an average of two items. And if we make a comparison with homeboys, they have completed like three. Some of them even four. Some of them like, okay, like even email. He's yeah. done. Yeah, it's 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 a desperate <laughs> attempt to try to get those half builds to try to buy as much time as possible because Beta really needs that time to come online. We might be able to see a 30-minute game if they're able to successfully defend. Whoa. But they do have the high ground advantage as well. Marzi doing his best to try to, to get that split push. But look at that glue. That is a thick, beefy, beefy boy that you see on year 3. <laughs> Beta, they're just trying to get as much as they can. Homeboy just taking out the jungles, taking out the lanes. They're not leaving anything to chance. 30-minute game. That's a big call, man. It's a big call. It's a big call. But Homeboys actually wants to end it early as the Lord is spawning up in 10. Yeah, I mean, there's like 12k gold ahead right now. Okay They're just waiting patiently for the Mungkin ibarat kata ini Lord penentu, guys, sekali. And this game, just because of how big the gap is by the time... Feeling gua sih Lord penentu, cuy, ya. I will say this, though. This game is very, very patient. Very, very passive. Soalnya tinggal 3 start doang. Beta actually has this... Lu malah ke bawah semua, guys. <laughs> when the Lord comes up, let's go down to the offside. We'll let Marzi be sort of like that bait Free lah, yeah. to bring homeboys over to the lane. Up. But it doesn't really matter because homeboys, they kind of know where uh, Big Trump Beta Gee. will be at a lot of these neutral objective fights, those big fights. Now the enhanced Lord marching down the bottom side. Big Trump Beta, will they be able to defend on this Lord push? Oh man, this is going to be sweaty, right? None of them are at level 15. Even Lynch is still at level 14 right now. Probably when, by the time the Lord arrives, he's at level 15. But then again, the bigger gap is, of course, the itemization and the gold. But it looks like the execution will happen from homeboys now. Oh, very, very slow push down. Homeboys trying to get the discipline in. T3 will get slashed down slowly, but surely. And homeboys, they were trying to look for an angle. They have the concealed play going. Oh, Final Slash. Nah, still Uji mati. Itu mati juga, Naksu. Udah, guys. Congratulations ya buat homeboys. Udah lolos ke playoff, bro. Gilo. Terbalik lah, guys. Terbalik. Buset. Nice banget. They're taking it home. Once again, Beta. Stay down. Man, oh my, it is homeboys. Congrats, Dilia. Congrats, ya. Nice banget. Oke lah ya, kita lanjut ke match selanjutnya, bro. Bye-bye.